We're going to turn our attention to the relationship between force and potential energy uh, without non-conservative forces. So no friction that's involved. So what do we have here? We have a graph of U sub X and uh, X here. Now, of course, we could be Y, Z. It really it doesn't matter at all. So let's go back to our differential expression. Uh, DW is equal to force in the x direction uh, times dx. So we're putting this up x is there because we just mean equals the x direction. That, of course, is going to equal du if we just have uh, potential energy going on here. So what's our expression then you know, going to be equal to? Well, first of all, we have to remember this is a minus because the change in potential energy will be negative uh, with respect to the kinetic energy that's involved. So if uh, potential energy is getting smaller, that means you'll have a negative change that makes this a positive and vice versa. That's just a, a quick review there. Okay, so I'm going to solve this expression for force of x. So this is going to equal negative du uh, dx. So the force that's applied is going to be equal to the derivative of this graph here. Okay, so let's take a look at, you know, the physical meaning behind this. Let's say I start at position A with a certain amount of potential energy. Okay, and then I'm going to go down to this position here, label this one B, and label this letter C here. And let's go back all the way to position D here. Okay, if the object starts from rest, of course, at positions A and D, this is where our value for U is going to be at maximum. We'll be at maximum uh, potential energy here. So as we uh, go down our, our graph here, what's happening is potential energy is getting converted into kinetic energy here. Okay, so if we look at the difference between A and B here, I'll just put little dashed lines here. This is going to be equal to the positive change in the kinetic energy because U is getting smaller. And then at the very bottom position here, we of course have a kinetic energy max. Okay, and that'll be the most amount of kinetic energy we're going to get out of here. It's interesting to note that this is also where our derivative is equal to zero. Okay, so that means a force of X again equaling minus du dx well that has a zero value there so right there is where our force okay is going to equal zero at that moment okay and then of course we have potential energy you know rising again here okay and this is our potential energy max we have at the bottom here what's known as a stable equilibrium position so we'll label that one as stable Okay, now what does that mean? Well, if I place the object in that position, it's, it's just going to stay there. So what is, what is a great example of, of something like this? Well, I will try to draw this in the, the best I can. So what about a mass spring system? So let me try that again. So here's like a wall. Okay, and let me draw a spring. And attached to a box like this. Let's say we're at the equilibrium position. That's going to be at position C right there. So there you go. I'm going to label that position C. Now let's say I take this and I stretch the box. Okay, and then let's call that position A there. Okay, so what have I done? I've stretched the box. I'm just holding it there. And that's where my uh, elastic potential energy would be the greatest. Okay, and then when I let it go, it's going to pass through B. And maybe at this position here, I'll just label that B. And then it's going to reach C, where it's the original uh, equilibrium position. And then, of course, it will compress. And let's say it goes all the way then to position letter D here. Just kind of estimating it there. And this box oscillates back and forth, of course. So it's a stable at position C, because if there's, that's where the spring is completely relaxed. Okay, and there's no force there. So the derivative at that position uh, f of x equals minus du dx does equal zero, and sitting right there, indeed equals zero. Whether it's going back and forth or not, that'll be zero there. And then our spring force grows larger here. Look at the steepness of this curve here. 
Okay, so remember, think slope. The slope of this curve is getting larger, therefore the force of the spring is getting larger there. So as it compresses or stretches, the spring force gets larger and larger. And that agrees with the slope of this graph here. Because again, force is minus du dx. Okay, so I think the mass spring system kind of explains this, you know, pretty well. Okay, so I, I like that very much. So hopefully that helps you understand it as well. And again, because... Uh, this is a graph of potential energy uh, versus displacement. You know, think of this also as mechanical energy. Because remember, mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energies. So in this case, mechanical energy would be completely conserved because there is no friction. Okay, now there are other kinds of stable points or equilibrium points here. Uh, let's say we're at this position here. Okay, our derivative would be flat here. And our derivative would also be flat here. Okay, but these are unstable positions, unstable equilibrium. Okay, because uh, we're probably not going to be able to just stay there if I place something there. It's going to want to fall downwards. This will want to fall downwards this way or that way. So those are unstable. Okay, the one that's you know down here, okay, is basically flat for a long time this is going to be neutral so again this is a graph of u x uh, versus x so if something is this this position here we see that there's really no change in potential energies there so kinetic energy is going to equal you know pretty much a constant here therefore our velocity is going to be constant all along the graph here so that's why it's called a neutral equilibrium point and right here, these are called unstable because the likelihood of this of going down is very possible. And this direction also can go down. So those are our three kinds of equilibrium points. You've got a stable, an unstable, and neutral. Hopefully that uh, clarifies that. And of course, more videos to come.